I'm a little kitten, short and stout. Here are my whiskers, here is my snout. Hello everybody and welcome back to Angie's Themes and Pockets and I am so excited to be back. Um, I am still setting up my sewing space. I've actually taken videos of a couple of things and had uh, technological malfunction so I have some filming equipment coming in the mail in the next couple of days but in the meantime I wanted to make a fun short video of uh, me just reacting to the crazy sewing hacks out there on the internet you know gotta get those true true views as Christine likes to say I actually outside of watching people react to true true have never actually watched one of their videos for my own pleasure. So this could be interesting. Um, so these are clothing hacks to upgrade your look. They're not exactly sewing hacks, but I figured they still fall into that category of sewing and clothing and things that I stand for. So um, let's get started with it. Let's talk about how to turn ordinary jeans into something more interesting. Cut yes, out the let's. middle of one of the back pockets. <laughs> oh no. Sew the uneven edge. You need a piece of a dense plastic sheet. Put oh, it in yeah. the pocket and secure it with pins. Stitch manually. Now you've got a real po Stitch manually? Oh god. Alright, let's stitch manually now. Pocket Aquarium. Decorate with puffy stickers. These jeans will certainly surprise your friends. They yeah, and they will certainly surprise you once you pull them out of the washing machine after they're done washing. Do you plan to never wash them again? Oh no. Let's move on. They look very original. They look very gimmicky. A white shirt won't shock anybody these days, but there is a solution. You will need a brush and acrylic paint. Did she just say acrylic paint? Do they not plan to wash their clothes? There's fabric paint out there. I've used fabric paint. Like, what are they planning to achieve with this? Like, wear it once and then destroy it? Alright, acrylic paint. Nylon tights can be more than just nude. Get ready to find out how. Pull the stocking onto cardboard. Draw a cat's face on the nylon with a black marker. Again, I would use a fabric marker Gently instead pull of a out sharpie. The cardboard base. Draw but another that is really kitty cute. a little above want to do the that other knee. This pantyhose is something to purr oh, that's about. Actually the design super looks cute. like bold tattoos. Yeah, those are really cute. I like those. For this, you need regular crayons. Draw a sketch of an image. Heat the crayons and go over the lines. Okay, I'm a little worried about The black tree looks stylish, but slightly gloomy. Melt a pink crayon. I don't Draw think flower. the color is what's making it look gloomy. Your designer jeans are ready. Designer jeans? <laughs> For this life hack, you will need a plain right. white t-shirt. Spray the cloth with water. Starting from the middle, twist the shirt into a snail. So Firmly secure it with elastic bands. We're making uh, tie-dye something. Color the fabric with acrylic paints. Oh my god. Dilute paints with water. Stir until completely dissolved. Collect some water with a dye in a syringe and color the fabric piece by piece. I am disappointed. Don't use fucking acrylic paint for this. There's actually fabric dye that you can use to make tie dye. Oh. Again, it's like they're making crafts for a one time use. I don't understand. A black t shirt is too gloomy and too plain, but there is. I'm sorry, but. Apparently black shirts are now too gloomy and too plain. Apply a paper template with circles to the fabric. Secure oh. the sheet with the help of- I think this might be the moon one, which I'm actually excited about. Not that anything's wrong with the 
plain black t-shirt, but I'm definitely witchy enough to really want a bunch of moons love my black t-shirt, so let's see how this works. And if they pull out fucking acrylic paint again... I hope they don't. Let's just say that. Paint tape. Apply a semi-dry sponge with white paint. Starting from the left corner, repeat the picture of a waxing and then waning crescent moon. Remove the template. The print turned out to be just cosmic. Mysterious faces of the moon will create a unique image. I hope that's fabric paint. What a stylish evening top. Bare shoulders are so elegant. Wow, this top also looks very cute. How many do you have? Not even one. These are actually skirts. Give old things new purpose. Put on a skirt instead of a sweater and change their places. A bold fashion decision for confident girls. Uh, what can we make from a classic but boring black skirt? I guess we're wearing skirts instead of shirts now. This is the new fashion, you know. <laughs> oh, there are so many reasons why that wouldn't work, but let's move on. The free-hanging minimalistic top is ready and truly a magical reincarnation. That looks awful. I'm Even sorry. the most beloved sweater can get boring with time. What can we come up with for it instead? I have an idea. Pink pom-poms would be an excellent decoration. I actually really want to do this with one of my sweaters. I have a little jar of pom-poms right here that I've been saving for exactly this. Um, one day it shall happen and these pom-poms shall be used. But for now there are little decorations up here by my sewing uh, machines. So yeah. I actually really like this hack because it's something I want to do. These straight leg shorts make all your creative impulses dry out. Fold the shorts in half. Draw the outlines of the future product using soap. Circle a mug on the fabric and it'll become a beautiful circular ornament. Cut the legs along. Look, I understand she might not understand full English terminology with sewing. But there's a reason these kind of names exist because when you're looking up clothing or... I won't get into it, but this is called a scallop ditch, not a circular ornament, whatever she called it. Along the lines, you'll get an edge that looks like lace. It's stylish and a little playful. No, it's not like lace. We will save the collar with the help of metal pieces. Apply a strip of hot glue and fasten rivets to it. Hot glue? she's just putting these on to hot glue and if anybody's ever worked with hot glue you know that it doesn't nothing really sticks to it I would I mean if you really wanted to glue these on I would recommend going with fabric glue or you know even going as far as getting cement glue because metal and hot glue do not work together but you know not that bad of a hack. I am totally down for spiking up my favorite jacket. The new decor looks very impressive. A jacket with studs is an eternal trend that'll never go out of style. Nope. For the next life hack, you will need pieces of rough canvas and a thick rope. Lay a strip of rope between the two circles and secure it with a pin. With a hot glue gun, glue the seam between the cuts of the fabric. You should get a bag like this. Sew the accessories to the bag. Attach the strap with carabiners. So, so, so we're sewing part of this purse, but the main part where we put our things into, we're hot gluing. Why can't we just sew the entire purse? Okay then. <laughs> Twist the rope. Secure it with hot glue. Glue okay. on some golden decor. Attach the rope circle to the bag. Decorate with wooden figurines. A roomy country-style handbag will become a reliable travel companion for your autumn walks. Until the hot glue comes apart and everything inside of your purse spills out because you didn't sew it together, you glued it together. And not even with fabric glue. Did you, Did you like, like our stylish reincarnations? Write, write in the, the comments, comments which of these life hacks you'll, you'll want to try, try yourself. Uh, I won't write in the comments, but I will say personally, I like the pom-pom sweater. I really liked the, um, the cat leggings. 
or the cat tights. Those are really cute. Um, everything else I felt was a little bit gimmicky, maybe a little bit, um, especially the skirts as shirts. But, you know, there were a couple hacks in this that were actually super adorable, super cute, um, that I personally might want to try out sometime. Other ones that I definitely wouldn't want to do for countless reasons. But overall, like, you know, besides the grammatical mistakes, um, there were some creative things here. Maybe things that aren't exactly original that I've seen done countless times. But, you know, drawing little cat faces on your leggings is cute if they're done with fabric markers and not Sharpie. There are lots of countless materials made that are specific for clothing, specific for fabric, specific for being washed and worn. Going with those would be a much better idea. And I am so glad that you joined me here today as I reacted to Troom Troom um, sewing hat or clothing hacks, I guess I should say. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.